precipitate in that moment. People needing help, people needing understanding, people searching for the truth. Science has no answers. Skeptics do little to help, but offer nothing more, but appear to answer everything with, there must be some kind of alternative explanation. Together with my team and my spirit team, we bring real support, real evidence, real answers to those whose accounts are often dismissed by mainstream society. Darrell is desperate for answers and resolve for both his sake and for the sake of his relationship and his family. There are thousands of people around the world, just like my client here this evening, that report activity, feeling, spirit, energy, reporting different occurrences, disturbances in their homes. Unfortunately, a lot of these uh, people, most people just discredit what they're saying straight away, because apparently science cannot prove the existence of spirits. Spirits and ghosts being two things, I'm not too sure about the ghost thing, but one thing I do know for sure, spirits are a part of our lives, part of our natural world and as real as I am here and now. Getting back tonight, let's go back in now, um, speak to my client, um, Daryl, see exactly what's been going on and hopefully by the time I leave tonight the situation will be under control. Hello. Hey, Dale. Lovely home you've got. Thank you. Lovely. And, and you've got a beautiful family as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I met, I met your little daughter earlier as well. She's, she's yes. a bit of a cutie, isn't she? Lovely. Lovely. So, what about this place? Um, you said something about it being 18th century or something. 18th century. Yeah. We found an old photograph. Going back with there's no, there's no major road coming up the side of the van. Old fashioned double decker bus, one of the you know, first kind, it must have been a showcase because there was one vehicle on the road and you know what it's like when you got it, yeah? <laughs> you know. What about the people that lived here before? As far as, I'm, far as I'm aware, it was just a single lady on her own. Um, don't know our circumstances. And that's the only people because they converted. Are they converted? They converted. How long ago yeah. was that? Uh, well, we've been here, what, 15 years? So and she's been here 10 years before. And, you know. I've got to say, as most places have spirit people in them anyway. Right. Anywhere where there's been people, there will be spirits, I've, I've, done, I've, I've actually said before. You did say on the, on the phone there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, you said it was about a couple of months ago it started. Yeah, about four months. I about four say. months now. Yeah. And it's really affecting you badly, isn't it? I ignored it for two months. Right. Um, and then I, I actually thought there were a medical name for it, what I thought I had. Right. But I know, I, I know I'm saying. Okay. Has anybody else been experiencing or hearing anything in the house? Um, you don't have to mention names, just, just ears or nose fine. Yeah. Well, my elder son, yeah. Nosebleeds every night. Nosebleeds? Yeah. Has he been to the doctors? Um, he's been to the doctors. Mate, you're jumping up and down, jigging around, you're nervous. It's all right. Chill. Yeah. Just, yeah. All right. Uh, that's that is. I didn't want to know anymore because I knew it wasn't just me who were getting affected, but I couldn't tell my family exactly okay. what was going on. See, I would I would think that nosebleeds. It, it could have been. I mean, other people are going to say, you know what? There must be another explanation for that. Could be medical. Could be. But we don't know, do we? No. 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 No, no proof on that one. Okay. This is having a tremendous effect. On your personal home life, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And I know the funny side is, I know it sounds corny, and most people will say I'm nutty or paranoid. Hey, don't we about that? I get called nutty all the time. Well, it's, I can't get close to my family because I fear for them. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Well, we don't know exactly what the situation is at the moment. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I, I know what goes off in my head. 
Trust me, and I know. I know I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just yeah. saying I, every case. I mean, if you've seen any, any, any videos, every case, open yeah. mind. Yeah. I see when I get here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I can tell you already that there is spirit people here. Yeah. But that's that's what I do. But yeah. mm -hmm. rather than tell you, you'll be able to hear them tonight. Is is that okay? Yeah. You're okay with that? Uh, yeah. I'm used to it now. <laughs> okay. When I spoke to you on the phone, um, you was quite emotional. Yeah. Obviously, with something affecting you so much, so yeah. greatly, yeah. it must have a knock-on effect with yeah. with your family and your wife. My wife felt it. She she started to say, "We're, we're distant." It's yeah. putting a big wedge. Be yeah. Okay. I did a case in Bridgewater um, a few months ago, and exactly the same scenario. There was a, a big distance wedge between the, the gentleman and his wife. Yeah. Um, and that situation got resolved very quickly after I'd actually been there and everything was sorted out. Also, you mentioned that you're not actually eating or sleeping. No. No. Okay. How long is it since you've had a decent night's sleep? I would say three months. <laughs> three months. Now, this is my third night without sleep. Okay. And I've been to the doctors. And the doctors won't give me more than five tablets. So I've been snapping them half. To last me ten days. Well, are they sleeping tablets? Then the, the, these apparently he told me these take out elephants, but they don't. The, 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 well, they won't be snapping in half, mate. That's for sure. No, but it, it does last. It puts me out. And it, even if I can get a cat nap, then I'm okay. I you think know? the reason it's limiting what you're getting is because they are addictive and they're these very strong sleeping yeah. pills. Yeah, and I don't. I'm not I into think. drugs. I don't take drugs. You know, I don't like taking tablets. I believe in my own body doing the repair work. You know, so. Right, I think what we'll do is um, we'll go lights out and we'll have a little quiet walk around on my own to see what spirits are here, who wants to talk. Yeah. Then we will uh, begin dealing with anything that we need to deal with, should yeah. anything actually be here. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, thank you. So, thank you. We may get loud replies straight away. Yeah. We may get unpleasant replies. Yeah. Um, but we will get something. We'll sit and speak to Becky or my guys as yeah. well. See, see how we get on there. And I'm trying to find out if or what there is to deal with before we actually. You need to know the situation before yeah. you know how to approach and deal with the situation. Still haven't got a clue of the situation at the moment. Right now, I'm in Daryl's workroom in his house. This is where he reported a lot of stuff going on, and he also said to me physically pushed. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is, um, and I won't be until I can hear Becky, Becky clearly. I'm not feeling anything negative at all, which is not at this stage an indication of anything because if I go into a place with negative things in, they tend to keep their distance anyway. So I thought at the moment, we'll spend a few moments in here. If this is the centre of the activity that Daryl is reporting, then the voices should also be strong. It could be that a there's a portal. I have no idea at this stage, but um, we will find out for sure. There's certainly not a portal open at the moment, and there hasn't been very recently, and I was able to be able to feel the energy. All right, let's see how we get on. I have had reports from Daryl of things happening, and him being made to feel very uncomfortable in his own home, that I find extremely unacceptable. Is there anybody here that wants to explain yourself? I'm the lady. Okay. 
Okay, that's very significant. In the room there, we couldn't hear anything. I've come into the area that's been reported to be the hotspot where he's been unable to work in things and straight away we get a very loud reply. There we go. We'll check this on the big speaker when I get in, but significant difference between earlier out there and in here right now. I'm feeling very big strength behind me as well. Okay, Becky. What's the situation here, Becky? Thank you, sweetheart. speaking to me that is Becky that was a difficult one to hear Actually, um, we've got a couple of very strong and quite clear replies there, which would, in itself, and even those alone, confirm that there are spirits in this house. I cannot confirm that, clarify everything that Dale's told me, obviously because I wasn't here at the time, but one thing that I can say is Dale is not imagining the fact that he's got company. I'm now just going to have a word with Dale. I will return back here in a couple of minutes. And uh, we will slowly peel back the layers, find out exactly what's going on. And before I leave this evening, this place will, will be back with Dale so he can actually enjoy his family and his home once again. Right, Dale, I've, as you know, just been in your office. I was in there some, once I finished talking, we could say, literally, instant, as soon as I hit the recorder. Um, we got a couple of replies. I'm going to play these for you now. Right, are you ready for this one? Yep. I'm with Andrew. You can hear that clearly? Yeah, very. Yeah. It is a very clear reply. Yeah, that is, isn't it? I'm with Andrew. All right, we'll find out who Andrew is and who's with Andrew before I leave. Yeah. Okay, so we've already established you've definitely got haunting going on because they are real people with real voices. Yeah. If there's any doubt at this point, this one will remove any doubt. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Tell me if you hear this one. Yeah. He's around. He's around. You heard that clearly yeah, well, didn't you? Yeah, very, yeah. Click at the beginning, but yeah. he's around. So that's a question we need to, to address. Who's around? Yeah. Who he is? I don't know. You want answers? Well, we've got answers. Mm. No, it's not all in your head. Some of it might be, but I'm only joking. No, it might be. I, I don't know. We don't know. To be fair, mm. um, it's certainly not your imagination. You have got people mm. here. So anybody that's been ridiculing you, yeah, then. They're wrong too. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got another recording now. This is not that loud, but it sounds like to me. This is Aggie. This is Aggie. Okay, so earlier you heard a few voices, we heard from Andrew, we heard from Aggie, or it could have been Maggie. We also heard that Dal not only fears for his own safety, but also that of his family. 
this is the kind of effects and emotional trauma that people go through when they're experiencing a genuine haunting. In a few moments, I'm going to put the lights out, speak to some spirits and see if we can do what we're here to do and actually get some real answers. I've just been explaining that you <laughs> have great concerns. Um, the stuff that's been going on here has been quite incredible. We also got um, probably the loudest voice, which was certainly sounded like a Yorkshire gentleman, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. How did you feel when you heard that? What I heard, really, in my eyes, was shocking. Never heard anything like that. No. It was a very, very loud disembodied voice, but this is obviously, you are aware that that's, that's what I'm, I'm known for. Yeah. Okay. That was actually captured just in a little hallway between the, the kitchen and, and the living room, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What I would actually say is that when I captured this, I was actually making a challenge to anything here that was, could be deemed not very pleasant. Although this recording is very loud, this recording is very clear, it may not actually relate to that. This was actually a barn, yeah. and a farmhouse, wasn't it? Yeah. This sounds very, very, very much like a farm. Listening very carefully to this next audio recording, it sounds somewhat like horse's hooves followed by a horse's neigh, just prior to a distant, clear sound of a man as if trying to control a horse. Okay, guys, so shall we now play that recording? Definitely. Okay, so first of all, Daryl, we'll play it as it was recorded. Yeah. Okay, so I saw it by your face, <laughs> even though you, I've already played it before, yeah. um, it is quite something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, this is what we're saying, that that could be relating to me challenging that would actually fit in with that. I was just going to say, I'm glad that's aimed at you and not me. <laughs> well, this is assuming it's aimed at anybody, this could actually be something else going on, um, like we've already said. Yeah. If that was a farmer, which yeah. and this was all a barn and that was uh, gates, which we'll, we'll go to shortly, and he was hurting cattle or something and one went, oh, yeah. oh easy now. Yeah. That, is, that is what a sort of thing you would, you would actually expect him to say. Stone tape theory is a hypothesis introduced in the 1970s. It speculates inanimate materials can absorb energy from living beings. It is believed that this energy can later be released, displaying either audio or visual record of past oh, events. Um, what we're going to do now, we will go lights out. I'm going to see who I am going to contact this evening. Uh, we are looking for answers. That is why we're here, yeah. or why you called me here. Yeah. yeah. Um, you are now prepared for any loud replies, yeah. should they, yeah. they appear. Yeah. Okay. We're also trying to speak to Becky as well. Right, so if you want to hit the lights out, I'll hit the night vision. And before we before we do do that, I will just say that we are using folder A on both recorders this yeah, evening. I've witnessed that. Yeah. Yeah. This is the folder we was using previously. Yeah. Um, you also know that both folders have got absolutely nothing in them because they're both formatted and blank. Yeah. So that's that is actually important. Yeah. That is important. I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be back in two minutes, and I will see what entities, spirits I can speak with and what information can be gained. Okay. Okay, so now the time has come, I am gonna actually speak to some spirits that dwell in this house. Daryl is prepared for any more loud voices. As you saw earlier, he's a bit shocked by the one that he heard moments ago. But I am here to get some answers and we will get some answers. Okay, Dale, before we begin, have you got any questions? No, yeah. You're okay? I'm okay. Okay, how are you feeling? Um, A little bit apprehensive? Yeah. Okay, but you trust me? Very. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll start when I feel it's 
time to, okay? When I feel a build up around me. Yeah. yeah. Becky, can you bring any spirits that will interact to the table, please? If anyone is capable of making any sounds or moving anything in here, or let us know if you can wrap the table. That's Do you smell anything? It's like a woody smell. It's not this. Mm. I, I, okay, it's getting strong behind me right now. Very strong. Let's switch this on. I said it is getting strong. Was it a smell? Um, it, it's a bit like an old wood smell, you know, like an antique smell. Mm. You know, if you go to a second hand shop, yeah, yeah, it's gone now, but it, it was quite strong. I've got a gentleman to my left hand side now, strong gentleman. Can we speak, please? I did, I'm just looking at your face and I don't mean to laugh, I did say that it's what I do. Yeah. Cash, have you got a salad? No. Has there ever been a salad here, do you know? Not that I know of, no. Because that's, I had the word salad in there. Thank you. It sounds like salad, doesn't it? Mm. Let's play that through the big speaker, Dale. Yeah. How do you feel about that one? Uh, I'm trying to breathe. Okay. You okay? Yeah, yeah. It's like you can't come in. Come in the cellar. I have the been, cellar. I have been in the cellar in, in at that place in Wakefield, and that's when I really got my first oh, experience. Oh, cellar! Hang yeah. on. Don't go in. You yeah. Don't go in. Hang on. Yeah. Don't go in the cellar. Oh, well, so that could be a gentleman warning you not to go in there again. Right, that's fine. Let, let's play that out. That's what it sounds like at the yeah, moment. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree. That's off to quite a flying start. Let's just play again. It, it, it could be, I don't want it to, it's too tough to what we want it to be. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. But I can hand on heart say that that sounds either like you can't go in the cellar or don't go in the yeah. cellar. So I'll play it one more time. Yeah. Although living in this property for many, many years, no, no. Dale's problems only began no, three months ago, yeah. Yeah. after a visit to a said haunted cellar. So this reply no, would make perfect sense. Sure. First of all, ooh, these guys want to speak. Okay, um, okay, yes, okay. That's a mistake, that sounded like a lady. Again to my left. That is a lady, isn't it? It's faint, but it's a something like that.
Again, she's will be loud and clear than others. This is not that clear, but I'll play anyway. close to the microphone at some point. This is obviously number two now because this was blank. Do you want to just confirm that? That is the same folder and we're on the yeah. second recording. Yeah, second recording. Yeah. I'll play it again. I think I will pick this up. We will see this. Okay. Again, it's not clear enough to call really, but um, we, we will check it. Yeah. Okay, that was quite good really high, wasn't it? Let me see. <coughs> then it fades off very, very, very As I draw this evening's proceedings to a close, I think we have shown beyond doubt that there's paranormal activity within this home. Daryl is now feeling much better about the situation and we will hear from Daryl in a moment. We've heard from some very strong, capable spirits this evening. The one thing that is important is we've had nothing negative said whatsoever. I'm now going to say goodnight and I will see you at another location with another client very soon. First of all, I want to let everybody know if you need help, right, you don't have to sit there and suffer. Get somebody called like Don, that's all I can say. The problems that I were having, yeah, it's all right, people saying go to doctors, <laughs> yeah, that don't make me feel any any good you know but now I respect what's here because it's real it's so real it's unbelievable um, yeah you know um, shoot I want to swear then but I don't want to not on camera but, uh, feel better in myself because like I say these are nice nice people I still don't believe in ghosts if that makes any sense these are people with feelings you know I do believe now you know um, we did a recording uh, we've got a, such a clear recording, the handle. Well, Don couldn't understand what the answer meant, I know. Cut long story short, my wife and family went away for a few days. I were on my own, so I thought, oh, a couple of Guinnesses, finish work early, have a bath. Right? Um, and when I got out of the bath, running down the corridor to get into my, my bedroom, my bedroom doors, the old cast iron, you know, it's done what? For 15 years I can shut my eyes and I can go straight to my handle. But with my eyes open, I couldn't see an handle. The door was shut, but they had no handle. <laughs> now, I didn't really want to talk about it, but there you go. Until next time. I'll see you at another extreme haunting.
right? That makes me more more stronger than ever. That makes me a stronger person. I don't know if that means anything or... Well, of course it does. Sure. At the end of the day, you know? you're... Your two greatest weapons in anything to do with paranormal is, first of all, understanding, um, yeah. which will lead to yeah. the appropriate mental attitude because it, it is human nature for people to, for their imagination to kick in and for them to fear and expect the worst. Yeah, that, that is just absolutely wonderful. Exactly. And it is, the, that word, the understanding bit, is so important, Tom. You know, uh, you know, I can't, I still want to That's all right, Darryl. That's I'll, okay. I'll have to take you for a drink or something like that, Dom, you know? So it's, um, you know, it's I'll, fine. I'll make it up as a thank you to you. Mate, like I said before, um, all that's necessary is the fact that me and the spirits, as in we, have had a positive yeah. effect on what you well, what was a quite negative situation. And, and just to hear you now, and hearing yeah. that everything's back together and everything's on track, that, that's payment enough. It's fine. That, yeah. This is what and we do. Can you do me one favour, Dom? Go on. Can you, do, can you do shout out to Becky and her friends? Thank you ever so much from me and my whole family. And, and, and I mean that from bottom of my heart.